Donna here. I thought that I would come to you with a little bit of advice for the day. Don't let your dentures grow over your gums. No, really. Don't let your dentures grow over your gums. It's a thing. Um, there are a lot of good reasons to remove your dentures every day for regular cleaning. Um, it can help you avoid pneumonia, swallowing your dentures, and other health problems. But another very important reason to remove your dentures, if left in too long, your gums can actually grow over your dentures, permanently locking them in place. This is not a substitute for dental implants. Please don't think this is a good idea. Please don't. Um, one resident in a care facility in Minnesota uh, found out that this can actually lead to painful and dangerous complications. So the story goes, and I apologize if you've heard this one already, um, it's not, the story goes, it, it's a thing, it, it, this actually happened. Um, this, and I'm going to be reading directly off the screen for some of this because I don't want to leave out important details. The story of the resident in Minnesota comes after they had been at, in a care facility for three years, and for most of that time, their dentures weren't removed. About six months after moving into the facility, the resident um, was taken to a routine dental appointment on December 9th, 2014. Now, he was not taken to another dental appointment for nearly three years until summer of last year of 2017 when the care facility realized it didn't know how long that this particular resident had gone without dental care. Um, no. <laughs> At that appointment, the dentist had to forcibly remove the dentures because the gums had grown over them. I know, right? So... In addition, removing the, the dentures revealed the presence of a large tumor or other growth on the gums. So that's fucking scary. How was this even allowed to happen? Um, care home patients need regular dental care and they should get it. The point of a care home is to make sure that vulnerable adults who can't take care of themselves have someone to get, give them the care that they need. How can a patient go three years just with no dental care? Like... Not only with no dental care, but with n not having their dentures out ever. Like, how does that even happen? Now, the home that uh, this happened at gave the uh, explanation that there was too much turnover during that time period. That means employees come and go. People leave, people leave, people quit, people get fired, new people come in. There was so much topsy-turvy with... with um, uh, their employees with their staff that they just didn't keep track. Apparently, there's not a protocol in place. That's not what they said, but I'm thinking, okay, based on the protocol, you would think that when new employees come in, um, if they're in a managerial position, if they're a doctor, if they're a dentist, whatever, that they would be aware of who's up for care next. Like, I just... Um, so, also... The staff member who took the dentist, the resident to their dental appointment said that they believed that the individual had lower dental transplant, whatever that means. I'm sure that she meant implant, but she said transplant, which is especially awesome. Gives you another idea of the level of care that the residents of this facility are receiving or not receiving, as it were. Uh, when asked, the resident confirmed that they were aware that they had removable dentures, but if nobody else knew, he wasn't going to speak up. He liked having his teeth in and didn't want them taken out. What? No, 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 no. Okay, that's the same way as if you have a resident that has their natural teeth and they refuse, nobody checks to make sure that they brush them at night because the resident doesn't like to brush their teeth and never spoke up. Like, you wouldn't let somebody's natural teeth rot out of their head. Why would you let someone keep their dentures in for three years to where their gums grow over them and they develop a tumor underneath? Why? I'm gobsmacked by this absolutely gobsmacked it's the most ridiculous shit that i've heard in a minute and i have children i have three children in response to the incident the home was fined five thousand dollars and instituted new training and tracking of dental appointments which i fn hope so i would hope that they would be fined more than that and that the patient and a resident and or his family would receive some of that money. <laughs> like, what in the hell? <laughs> 
So please, I mean, obviously this is a rare situation that doesn't come up very often, but please take out your dentures every once in a while. If you have removable implants, you know, like they're secured by implants, your dentures, take them out every once in a while. Go to the dentist when you're supposed to. Let him take them out or her take them out every once in a while. Um, there are some really valuable takeaways to be had from, from this this story. First, remember to remove your dentures regularly, which I just said. Even if you want to keep them in at night, it's important to take them out for regular cleaning and soaking. Regular cleaning and soaking. Take them out of your face. Say it with me. Take them out of your face. Get them out of your face. Take them out of your face. Clean and soak. Clean and soak. Okay, got it. Clean and soak. Secondly, if you like having your teeth in, most of the time it's better to get a denture that's compatible with that choice, such as a hybrid implant denture. Okay, ones that are designed to be put into your mouth and left there. Finally, if you have a loved one in a care facility, and it's really sad that I feel like I need to speak up about this, but if you have a loved one in a care facility, you have to check to make sure that they're receiving the proper care that they deserve. The staff may not be doing it, especially if there's a significant amount of employee turnover or anything, anything. Check on your loved ones that are in the care facilities, please because you just, you don't know what's happening when you're not there. Okay, that's all that I have for you today. I would love for you to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this story. If you've heard of anything similar happening, if you know some crazy denture story that um, maybe I don't, I've not heard of, I'd love to hear it. Leave me a comment. I'd love to read and respond to every single one. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video and check out my blog at DonnaSloan.net. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back tomorrow with another video for you guys. In the meantime, be good to each other. Keep smiling and keep being awesome.